Cooperation and cooperation. Our Hannah McKenzie also on the ground there, just on the other side of where Brandon is from, just a, a different perspective. Hannah, tell us what you're seeing from where you are. Yeah, so we just moved over here from City Hall. It was actually quite a bizarre situation. The protesters were watching our 6 p.m. coverage, saw what you guys were seeing at home, and one of them yelled, let's all head down to La Branch. And that's where we follow. That's where we find ourselves right now. As you can see, the street is blocked off by those officers. I know you guys have been getting footage of all that. The apartment complexes, people are just hanging out on their patios, kind of watching everything from above, seeing what's going on. This young gentleman right here, he has been in the action since 2 p.m., since the initial uh, march happened. Go ahead, tell me your name. My name is David. David, talk to me about the importance of being out here and why you chose to be out here today. Um, I chose out here to just represent. I wanted to be a part of history. I wanted to, you know, just film, just record, and just do my part, you know. Um, it was just a crazy experience. I'm glad that I came, and I'm glad that I was here. Oh, sorry, do I hold it? I got it, I got okay. it. So what's the most surprising or shocking thing that you've captured on your surveillance video here today? Um, the most surprising thing, I think, is whenever we went down the freeway, you know, we were kind of, you know, in between whether or not we wanted to go or do it or not. But um, honestly, it just took one, then it took two, and then everybody just kind of got in with confidence, so we stopped the freeway and it was just live you know because it really shows the power that we have you know as long as we don't show any fear you know we're doing it all peaceful all in, a, in the right way so there's nothing they could really do to us and everybody here we're just you know we just want to spread our voice you know we just want to do our message, you know, do what we can, you know, to be a part of history, really. I know most of the folks out here with you say the same thing, peaceful is best, but we just saw that HPD cruiser get taken away, and those windows were smashed. That's not peaceful. You know, what do you say about that? I say that sometimes, you know, you have to do drastic things to be heard, you know. Um, just, you know, I don't agree with it, but you know what? It happens, you know. You look back in history, sometimes you have to, you know, pull the trigger in order to be heard, and not pull the trigger in order to be heard, but you know what I meant, you know, like... You have to do something big in order to be heard, and you know, it happened like that, you know, it happens, you know, but that representation doesn't speak for everything. You know? Okay, well, thank you so much for sharing your experience with us. Also, uh, these young ladies right here wanted to talk as well. I noticed that you had uh, goggles with you. Were you expecting today to kind of turn a little sour? Of course, you have to look at the history of protesting. We come out here peacefully and, you know, things go sour because of the people in authority. You know, we're here, we deserve to be protected and served. Um, we saw a protest a few weeks ago about the mask and everything going on, and no one was hurt. Uh, no one was arrested. No one was dragged away. Um, we deserve to be protected and served. These police officers, they don't have the training that they need. A lot of them, they don't have the education. They don't have they don't have any mental um, evaluations, and they're just giving these people badges and guns for them to protect and serve the people that they were never meant to protect and serve. The, the, the justice system was never meant to protect black lives and brown lives, and we're here to demand that because we have our civil rights. We fought that fought 50, 60 years ago, and now we're demanding it. So, so this whole thing, you know, here in Houston started because George Floyd was a Houston native, and what he went through, absolutely horrific. Do you think it's kind of transcended and just moved to now, you know, a social injustice problem? No, no, it's just not being recorded. Um, we are just not being having the platform and the voice to say the things, like be, having a camera on me. This wouldn't have happened 30, 40, 50, 100 years ago. So now I have the voice. Now we're able to talk to the press. We're able to have that voice for ourselves and no one else is telling our story. It's us, written by us, for us. What do you hope, you know, to, to come away from all this? Uh, I'm looking for a police reform. Um, that's what I want. I want police reform. Um, we we can't accept this anymore. We can't. There's only so much walking and 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 and, and stomping that we can do. We deserve action. If you guys aren't going to give us action, then you can't be mad at how we go and get our action because we demand what is rightfully ours. We demand our rights. We demand to be protected and served by those who rose their right hand and swore that they were protected and serve us. And, and how long do you plan on being out here tonight? As long as it takes. And what is your name? My name is Baker. Thank you so much, Baker. I appreciate you speaking with Thank us. You. Alrighty, guys. So you just heard, you know, from a couple of the young protesters out here. Both of them have been out here since, you know, 2 p.m. when this all started. It's clearly transitioned into something else with this um, intersection still being blocked off here. A lot of these protesters, you know, getting right up in officers' faces, yelling, screaming. Those officers are just trying to do the best they can to keep the peace out there. I know that you guys saw that uh, smashed up patrol car that was down there. We actually saw over at City Hall one that had been just defaced with uh, with spray paint. So there is definitely, you know, some hairy situations down here right now. But of course, we will continue this coverage as we follow it. Reporting live downtown Hannah McKenzie, KPRC Channel 2 News.